Alright, so today I'm going to Universal Studios Singapore. I'm going there not because of Universal Studios Singapore, partly, but I'm going there for the Halloween Horror Night. So yeah, let's go. Alright, we have reached Harbourfront and over there is Sentosa. And now we are walking there. The Halloween Horror Night gates open at 7 o'clock, but now we're gonna queue up first so that once the gate open, we can just run in. Let's go. Can you imagine that before I went to this Halloween Horror Night, I had my geography paper, so my mind was a bit crooked. I did not bring my ND filter and everything is overexposed. So now we are at the boardwalk and the Suntosa is just halfway there, just right over there. So let's go. Once we are at the entrance of the USS, something happened. My friend forgot to bring the tickets. So my friend right over there, <laughs> right over there, forgot to bring the tickets. And now we are stranded over here without any tickets. You are dead! So, good job to us. At that moment, I was like, I don't know what to say. Like, we already traveled so far from Amukio all the way to Sentosa Island and she forgot the tickets. I don't know what to do then, but luckily, she got everything figured out. Stranded at the USS now, waiting for someone to send us the tickets. Are they buying this satanic light? <laughs> what do you think? I want to. Satan buggy not here. Satan buggy and by 8 o'clock, we managed to enter Halloween Horror Night. But before we enter Halloween Night, we did some stupid sh**. Here it is. She can't clap without her hands. What did you say? How you can keep that up? If she can't clap without her hands, then I don't want that bitch. I feel like Golden Ramsey, how I flip my fucking wrist. Time check, it is 7.10 and we are still stranded outside. Can't enter HGM because of you. <laughs> we are stuck outside because of you. What are you going to do before? Uh? This is the ninth time that Halloween Horror Night is held at USS. So, I can't wait to enter in. Actually, 8 o'clock and we are still not inside the park. And we have to go home in around one and a half hours time. Yeah. So, I do not know how we are going to play even one game. Yeah. One game took like 45 minutes to wait. <sighs> but it's okay, I'm going to make the fun out of it, man. One game, one right. You think can, right? Yeah. Once my friend got the tickets, we straight away ran, like legit ran as fast as we can to the USS gate. <laughs> we are up running right now. We are inside now. I really can't wait already. first ghost I saw was like this clown and my friends was like running away from me like legit seeing like a real ghost. We are entering the scare zone now. Let's go! Deathfest is one of the scare zone in the Halloween Horror Night. Scare zone means that the ghost can pop up from anywhere like behind you without you noticing and can scare you. After going through the scare zone, we straight away went to our first haunted house which is called the Spirit Doll. Right, so now we are at the Spirit Dolls. I really can't wait. Are you scared? I'm bored. I hope that I don't cry inside. Maybe it's on my pants, yeah. The waiting time was 30 minutes, but the 30 minutes was like 10 minutes. It was very, very fast. And this is the footage that I managed to get. It was only at the entrance until this guy asked me because I was like, my phone was like at the side of my hand near my pocket there and I was recording and I think he saw it then he asked me to keep my phone. The thing that scared me most was how their ambient noise is. It legit feels like in you're in a Japan home. If you want to see how is the spirit doll's haunted house looks like, you guys can watch like other videos like right up here. I will. Anyways, I entered in, dolls just came up at me. The thing is about this first haunted house, most of the ghosts are animatronics. This ride is the only ride that my friends and I managed to go inside together. So we entered in, the first thing they do 
know was obviously shout. My friends started to put their heads down and look at the ground and they start to push me. The person in front of me also was like walking very very slow. I was like asking them not to push, not to push. Then after that, we managed to escape the haunted house. It wasn't that scary at all. The thing is I cannot film inside. That's why it sucks. We went to the second scare zone. In this Halloween Horror Night Park, there is two scare zones. One is the death fest and another one is the dead end. This second scare zone is about mummies. Firstly, when we enter the scare zone, we are greeted by these coffins that you can take picture with. But I did not take any picture. Inside videos, the ghosts look a lot more scarier. But in real life, they are like human-like. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. That's one. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Nice. Thank you very much. Sadly, we have to say goodbye to my friend. Anyways, after that, I continued to take all the ride by myself. I went to the haunted house called the Hell Block 9. Hell Block 9 is a jail cell. So you sort of have to escape this jail cell. The thing is that make it not scary. We go in by batches. Like, there'll be 16 people going inside the haunted house. So I entered in alone. I was like the last person. So when I entered one of the bunk beds, I could smell like a very strong incense smell. That triggered my goosebumps. So I was the last person. When the guy in front of me was like running away, I was like following him lah. Because I was like scared I'll be alone. The... Hell block was alright, but the thing that scared me the most was the Twisted Clown. Twisted Clown is basically like, if you guys watch the story, it, it's about this killer clown. It was the longest haunted house I had to wait. I think it was like 30 minutes, and also it was my last house. I entered inside the house. It was like a very long way to enter inside the house. The set looks like a circus. So when I entered the house, I was greeted with like family portraits of the clown. Like, I think I will show you guys one of these like over here. Decapitated clown. There was one part that they used a balloon to scare people. So like, they pop the balloon. Like, when you are walking past, they just like pop the balloon. That part also scared me. The part that scared me the most was the mirror part. So you enter this like room and they will be filled with mirrors. I do not know which mirror will slam onto the ground and scare you. I was like just guessing. And unfortunately, I guessed the wrong one. The clown came out from the left side when I was looking at the right side and that scared me. Then after that, I just ran out of that part and it's also the exit. was like a legit concert there were like drummers and there was like electric guitar playing and like a singer overall this first experience Halloween Horror Night 9 was amazing it was like my first time going to a Halloween Horror Night and yeah it was fun it was fun what did I learn from this Halloween Horror Night so basically I went to the haunted house alone the thing that I noticed is that the scare actors wasn't like shy or anything if they want to scare you they legit scare you like like legit commit to it Boo. that's the thing I like about it then they were also photogenic most of the time they thought I was taking picture but I'm actually 
really taking video. I really appreciate the confidence in scaring people. And anyways, that's what I experienced from this Halloween Horror Night. Right, before we end this video, let's read some comments from my previous video. So my previous video is about Andy Filter Photography. There is one person that commented, Shintan, I'm doing great, yos. Why he said that is because he replied to my comment which says, how are you doing? So what I want you guys to do is to go to the comment section down below and comment whatever you want to say. Tell me about your opinion on this video, whether you like this kind of storytelling or like normal typical vlog. The reason why I do this is because there weren't that many footage to show you guys. That is why I narrate the whole entire journey. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please give a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.